applying the Pareto principle to your problem. That can be a good step in order to free your mind. Ready? Let's go! So stop fixing problems that you don't have. Really? We already have enough problems to, to be to, to focus on, on, what, on, on the one we don't have. I mean, and this is a problem that I have also, and I think a lot of people have. They think, okay, there is that, there is that, there is that, there is that, there is that. But what if this happens? What if this happens? And so, on. and so all of this thing is primarily about your fears. Your fear of, I'm gonna fail. And so, you. you Maybe you don't have even started, so don't focus on that. You you need not fixing the problems that you don't have and start by identifying the problems that you do have. That's a very first good step in order to move forward. Identifying that, okay, may, this may happen in the future, this may happen in the future, and so on. Okay, okay, but where I am currently? What are the problems I'm facing now? Then go and get it. You focus on fixing that first. And when you don't have any, at, at the very best, if at some point you don't have any problem, then you maybe you can start focusing on problems that you can have later. But, but the very best way to build momentum is first to get started and focusing on the problem you have. And so it comes down to another video I did about the, the, the first step to success is just do it, just do it. <laughs> and so, yeah, because you, if you if you start anticipating the problems you have before you get started, you, you would just waste your time and your money and your energy in useless things. So go do it, then face the challenges and problems and fix them as you go. This is a I mean, I, I'm telling you again, I did this mistake myself time and time and time again. And especially because this is the way I think I want to anticipate everything. I want to have control over everything. And so, so yes, I, I start thinking, okay, this can happen, this can happen, this can happen. Okay, 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 okay. And so uh, that's bullshit, that's bullshit. I, I, even, even if I'm a smart guy, I cannot anticipate everything and so i need to move forward and that's a lesson that i want to share with you because this is something that i think preventing me from reaching higher level of success faster and and so the the best way to go about it is simply state your goal and state the problem you currently have in order to move forward uh, towards that goal and so maybe uh, maybe you can start by listing all the problems you think that that you have and that could happen and then you divide them okay this is a problem that i have now this is a problem that i have that will arise later when i have this you get done and so on and so you order them in a, and, and you take the one that is the most important you take one problem at a time so list all your problems put the, the ones that are later uh, aside and focus on the one that you, you you need to focus on now then order them in the list of the one that actually will bring the most benefit by fixing it right now the first one and then order do, do, do that fucking list uh, i mean yeah so let's see if i forgot something um uh, Yeah, just focus on one problem at a time. I mean, you, your attention, your focus is a limited resources as well as your time, actually. And so if it comes down also to the video I, I did la last time about distraction, which uh, if you focus on problems that you will have later, instead of the problem that you have now, you are distracting yourself from getting things done. And maybe, maybe this is self-evaluation issue that you have, that you don't think you deserve to reach the level of success. And so you are 
distracting yourself with problems that you don't have. Maybe this is that the very deep issue and that you need to work on rather than so remove the problems that you don't have, focus on the problem that you do have, and the rest of the time that you are free, focus on removing this limiting belief about the level of success that you could reach. Um, don't focus on the problem you don't have yet. Focus on what you can fix now. I hope that's clear. That was a little video, short, straight to the point, <laughs> like I'm not doing very often. But uh, yeah, this, this was exciting because I knew it. Personally, I knew it for a very long time, this, this issue. And, and still, even by knowing it, I was still, I was still doing it. I was still focusing on a problem that I don't have. And even, even uh, now, currently, I'm really struggling. I have to keep uh, a sheet of paper with the things that matter the most, the other things that I want to do. But I write very clearly, this is distraction. Don't do it. And this actually makes me think of, uh, of a, a quote. I, I don't remember the person, but actually they said that the difference between someone that is very successful and someone that reach a, a decent amount of success is more about the things they are not doing than the things they are doing. And I think the fa the, the idea of, of removing distraction and focusing on only the problems that you have and not the problems that you don't have is part of that. So don't do uh, yes highly very the and not just success, very great, the greatness, the top performer on the world, the very best of the best. They are primarily not focusing on what other people are focusing. And they are just focused on a very few things and they are dedicating their full attention, their full energy on that. So I hope it helps. I hope it opens your mind that maybe you have some things that you're focusing on that just are not worth it just distract you from focusing on your main issue so write down your goal establish the main problem that you have in your uh, for each of those goals order them from the one that you that are the most important right now to the one that is the least important and the, that is going to arrive maybe sometime in the future remove the one that is are going to maybe arise in the future or maybe put them aside and focusing on get uh, on fixing the problem you have right now so thanks you for watching and i see you next time